Hey, this is uh, one of my absolute favorite Alembics I've ever owned. I'm not the original owner, but uh, it is a seven string fretless, line fretless. Uh, spoiler, has a standard spoiler circuit with uh, a Q switch. Um, nothing fancy, but you don't need it for fretless bass. Most of the time I'm running one pickup and uh, all I need to do is roll off some of the tone in order to get the uh, sound I'm looking for. But uh, this one has uh, ebony fingerboard, cocobolo top, uh, maple accent laminate, and then just uh, mahogany in the back. The important thing is that it has, I think, an 11 piece neck with purple heart and maple in it in order to withstand the rigors of having seven strings on it all the time. And this was upgraded with a uh, crown peg head. Uh, it's running shallower tuners, which they usually don't do anymore, but uh, this was made in 2000. And uh, even then, I'm surprised that they were on it. Uh, must have been somebody's special order again. But uh, this bass is extremely easy to play. Very thin neck. Um, extremely stable though. It never moves, never goes out of tune. I don't have to worry about this instrument. Uh, you know, if I don't play it for a month or two or three, it's still, you know, perfectly in tune when I take it out of the case. I imagine there's probably graphite strips in the neck, but uh, I'd have to confirm that with uh, Alembic, but <clears throat> doesn't matter. Thing plays great. Sounds an unbelievably good. Excellent low B. Rolls on forever. Great harmonics. Uh, like I say, I'm pretty much just using the back pickup on it, and then I roll off some of the uh, the clarity and the tone. Uh, I do have the uh, Q switch on. As I roll off the uh, tone knob, it actually kind of bumps up some of the uh, high mid frequencies. But anyway, this bass, one of my favorites, super easy to play. Um, I uh, use it mainly for either jazz gigs. It's great if you're on a, a gig where it's just bass and piano and you're forced by necessity to play solos all night uh, because <laughs> you have to fill in space and time there for the gig. But uh, I use it a lot um, uh, with a uh, flamenco group that I work with, uh, Latin Trio. Uh, that gives you that Gypsy Kings kind of tone throughout and uh, this bass is a medium scale, so it's even easier to get around on. It's got the lines in the fingerboard, so I can see where I'm going because I, you know, switching back and forth between short, medium, and long scale basses. Uh, sometimes I'm making these quick reaches up to the <clears throat> upper notes on the neck, uh, and uh, you might miss them because you're used to one scale versus another, but that's the nice thing about a seven string is you don't have to make a shift up the neck to get to those notes. And you pretty much stay where you're at and just move across the fingerboard to get there. Anyway, this is, is a fantastic 2000 uh, Alembic spoiler seven string custom uh, fretless bass. And uh, 
you ever run into a seven spring Alembic, don't be afraid of it. Uh, it's as good as it gets. I've had Melvin Davis, uh, Ken Smith, seven strings in the past. And they were absolutely terrific. Uh, great basis. But uh, this one, it's even easier to play. The carve on the neck is beautiful. And, uh, you know, you can't beat Alembic Electronics for tone. And their workmanship is unmatched. Absolutely unmatched. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it.